Hi, this is John with Digwitch, and this is how I use my iPad as a phone. I use free apps along with my Google Voice number to make and receive calls, send text messages, and get my voicemails over Wi-Fi or cellular data. This will work on any iPad or Android tablet, and also on iPhones, Android phones, and even the iPod Touch. Google Voice is a free service. You can sign up and get a new number or port your current number over for a one-time fee. If you do port your number, it will cancel your existing wireless contract and you may be subject to an early termination fee, so be careful. This is the official Google Voice app. It's actually an iPhone app, but it works just fine on the iPad, and there's also an Android version. Here I can text and get my voicemails. I can listen to my voicemail or read a transcription, which I find to be really handy. The app is easy to set up and works well. It doesn't support any calling features though, so you'll need a separate app for that. I use Google Hangouts for calling on my iPad, but Hangouts doesn't support calling for Android. If you go into the settings and set incoming phone calls to on, the iPad will ring when someone calls your Google Voice number. Hangouts also supports making free calls to any number in the US, even if you don't have a Google Voice account, but again, just for iPhone and iPad. Just press the telephone icon and dial the number you'd like to call, or select one of your Google contacts. The dialer doesn't have a ton of features. There's no way to set favorites, and your recent calls disappear very quickly, so it's hard to quickly call someone back. Also, the caller ID only shows you the number and not the name of the caller. But overall, the app is simple to use and works well. If you're looking for a calling app with more features or you're on Android, I recommend Talkatone. I use this app on my Android phone and used to use it on my iPad before Hangouts supported calling. It's slightly more complicated to set up, but once you do, it works well as long as it's running in the background. It integrates with your Google Voice account for free calling and texting and also syncs with your Facebook contacts if you'd like. There are even lots of settings for things like data compression. If you don't want to get a Google Voice number or can't cancel your contract, there are lots of other free apps you can use to call and text. You will only be able to contact other people that also have that same app on their phone or tablet though. Apple makes two great apps that do this. FaceTime started as a video calling app, but now it also supports audio calls. When you open up FaceTime, go to a contact and press the little I by their name. You'll see a video camera icon for video calls and a telephone icon for audio calls. You can use this to call anybody that has an iPad or iPhone. iMessage is another Apple exclusive app that allows you to send short text and picture messages. It's the default texting app for iPhones and is also included on iPads. You won't be able to send SMS text messages to phone numbers from an iPad, but you can send messages to other iPhone and iPad users that have iMessage enabled. These apps are great and may work for you if most of your contacts have an iPhone or iPad. Facebook is another very popular app that has free calling features. Just go into a message and click the I by somebody's name and then you'll see the option to call them. These are the apps that I use for free calling and texting on my iPad mini and Android phone. There are many others out there that offer similar functionality. I really like this setup and have been using it for over a year now, but it does have some serious limitations. It doesn't support 911 calls. You won't receive any MMS messages, aka picture messages, and call quality can be poor if you don't have a good data connection. Head on over to Digwitch for more details, links to the apps, and more tech tips. Thanks.